Hi everyone, welcome to style to the channel. Today I will teach you how to make a dress skirt and let's get started on today's lesson. First, open the software and then click on the resource library and select a female model to add. Then we click on the model and modify the shape of the model according to our preferences in the property editor. Pick the pen tool and then start drawing the pattern from the midpoint on, of the model's armpit. Hold down the control key while drawing to make an arc and hold down the shift key to make a vertical line. After the drawing is complete, select the edit pattern tool. Then click in the middle of the plate and press enter. This will quick, quickly generate the plate. Then select the pen tool and use the same method to draw the back piece. Also hold down the control key to adjust the radian of the line. Then click the area and press enter to generate the pattern. Frame select the pattern and right click to reset 2D arrangement. The shortcut key A displays the arrangement point and arrange the pattern on the model. Frame select the pattern and right click to clone the linked pattern and arrange the newly generated symmetrical pattern on the arrangement points. Use the segment sewing tool to sew the pattern one by one. Click Simulate and then adjust the shape of the cloth. Frame select all the patterns, reduce particle distance to 5 and extra render thickness to 1. Click Simulate and then adjust the, sh adjust the shape. Delete the extra points at the neckline of the body. Use the arc tool to adjust the arc of the neckline, make the lines beautiful and smooth. Then we will make the decoration part of the inner layer of the cloth. Use the edit pattern tool to select the line segments of the hem and the neckline re respectively and increase the length by 3 cm. Click the line segment in the front and right click to add equidistant internal line with a width of 3 cm. Simulate and make the cloth flat. Use the Edit Sewing Line tool to delete the sewing lines at the front side of position and use the Segment Sewing tool to sew the two internal lines together. Adjust the shape of the clothes. Clothes can be adjusted more quickly if you harden them. Right now we're dragging on the front pieces. In the property editor on the right, adjust the physical attributes of the fabric, reduce the value of stretch and blend to make the folds of the fabric richer. Use the edit pattern tool to click on the internal line and open the elastic. Simulation and then there's the effect of shearing that appears. Add elastic to the top edge of the front and back. Enter 90 for the value. Simulate and adjust the wearing position of the cloth. Use the free sewing tool to sew a small section of the front center placket. Add tack so that the edge of the placket falls to the front piece on one side.
The lower end is also sewn. Adjust it and add tuck to the other side. Next we make the outer pattern. Frame the front and rear patterns on the right side of the body and right click to generate lining outside. Set its level to 1 and delete the sewing lines of the outer pattern. Frame the outer pattern, reset to the arrangement selected and press the shortcut key A to open the model arrangement points. Arrange the pattern of the model, then adjust the position of the patterns. Cut internal lines and delete redundant patterns, and then select symmetry pattern with seam. Strengthen all patterns on the outer layer, and then pitch the stitch the pattern. Freeze the inner pattern and then click Simulate. Let's do the exterior styling. Add a point on the front midline segment 9cm from the bottom. Adjust the length of the sewing line in, front, in the front of the position of the point. Use the Edit Curvature tool to adjust the arc of the line segment. Make the arc of the chest smooth, smooth and beautiful. We can only also use the Edit Curve Point tool to make the arc more smooth by adjusting the curve point. Raise the position of the front middle apex so that the pattern visually shows a difference in height from the inner pattern and then simulate. Cancel the elasticity of the outer pattern edge. Simulate, and then adjust the shape of the cloth. Adjust the position of the center point of the back piece to make the line on the back of the garment smoother. Here the inner and outer layer are through the mold and we need to deal with it. Firstly, the inner layer is unfreezed, simulated and adjusted, and then the inner layer is solidified to keep its shape unchanged. Once adjusted, freeze the inner layers. Bring the vertices of the outer pattern closer to the middle. And then we need, we need to fix the outer shape so that the pattern doesn't fall apart. Using the rectangle tool, Make a square with a length and width of 10 cm. Take the midpoint of the side, use the pen tool and hold shift to make a vertical line and convert to symmetry axis. Adjust the position of the endpoints on both sides to form an inverted trapezoid with a wide top and a narrow bottom. Short key, shortcut key A opens the model arrangement point and arrange the pattern at the neckline. Then use the free sewing tool to sew each side of the pattern to the front close to the chest. Simulate.
Here we increase the stretch and blend values of the fabric and open the bond to make the pattern wider and more supportive. Adjust the width of the pattern to make the lines of the neckline and placket smoother and more natural. We selected the outer pattern to add bond to make the fabric stiffer. Add a new piece of fabric to the fabric bar. Set transparency to zero. Then apply this fabric to the trapezoid pattern for the neckline. In this way, we say that the neckline can be maintained naturally. Next, we make the skirt part. First, use the edit pattern tool to measure the length of the bottom line of the front piece, which is 20.14 cm. Then use the rectangle tool to generate a rectangle with a width of 20.14 and a height of 110. Measure the bottom length of the back piece in the same way and make a rectangle with a width of 16.12 and a height of 110. Use the fullness line tool, select the upper and lower sides of the rectangle and set the extended length to 100 cm. Use the same method to make fa fan shade patterns for the back piece so that the front and back piece of the skirts are finished. Next, we place the pattern close to the model and adjust the direction of the pattern. Select the pattern and right-click to Symmetry Pattern with Seam. Sew the patterns together. Move the position of the skirt on the other side, simulate and adjust the shape of the skirt. Select all the skirt patterns, adjust the particle distance to 15 and the extra render thickness to 1. The pressure was set to 0.25, simulated. In this way, the skirt can be expanded and become larger, making the visual effect more full. Then merge the back center and front center of the skirt to simulate. Next, we frame the outer layer pattern of the cloth, right-click to generate lining outside. Remove linked editing, delete the pattern on one side, and delete all the sewing lines on the outer pattern. Set the number of layers of the pattern to 2. Reset to the arrangement selected, press shortcut key A to open the arrangement point and arrange the patterns on the model one by one. Symmetry pattern with seam and arrange the pattern on the other side to the model. Stitch the pattern, freeze the inner layers and straighten the outer layers and simulate. At the hem, we choose the turn to sew with the inner layer. Simulation and then switch perspective to observe the shape of the cloth. Then use a smooth curve tool to round the vertices of the outermost neckline so that its edges present a beautiful arc.
Frame select patterns to freeze them all. Then copy and paste the front and back pieces of the body outer layer and the front pieces of the skirt on the same side. Cancel access of the pattern, cut the pattern with the trace tool and then merge the skirt part with the body pattern respectively. Select the size seam and merge the two patterns into one. Use the Edit Pattern tool to delete some points and adjust the position of each point so that the outer contour of the pattern is round and smooth without sharp corners. Add a new piece of fabric to the fabric bar. Then we apply it to the newly created pattern. Adjust the level of the pattern to 3 and the particle distance to 12. Close bond. Unfreeze and unstraighten the pattern, recent to the arrangement, select it and move the pattern near the model. Adjust the direction and position of the pattern so that it is as close as possible to the model. Then use the free sewing tool to sew an arc. And sew it to the corresponding part of the bodice and select seam as turned. Then simulate. Drag the back center to the position behind the side seam, press the spacebar to pause the simulation and fix this point with the pin. Then adjust the pin position in the simulation state while observing, observing the part of the chest so that there is a margin on the front side. Use the pen tool to draw a straight line along the original structure line position of the waist. Click the right mouse button and set, set the length of the line segment to 20 cm. Then select this internal line, turn on the elastic, set the ratio to 50 and turn on the divide mesh. Then select the bottom edge of the inner pattern, right-click to add equidistant internal line and set the spacing to 3 cm. Change the length of the internal line to 10 cm. Stitch these two line segments together and then simulate. In this way, the shearing effect of the waist appears. We adjust the hem until the front and middle of the skirts are vertical and then add fixing pins to fix it. Select the pen tool, hold down the control key to draw an S-shaped arc and then draw the second one with the tails of the two lines a little closer. Press and hold shift to select two curves at the same time, set the fold angle to 30, the fold strength to 20, and open the realistic fold. Then select two arcs to add two equidistant internal lines and set the spacing to 1.5. Set its fold angle to 300, fold strength to 20, and simulate. Adjust the state of the skirt.
Also use the pen tool to draw a line segment with a length of 20 cm along the direction of the structure line at the back center of the pattern. Turn on the elastic, set the ratio to 50. Click the line segment at the bottom of the back piece of the inner layer to add equidistant internal line of 3 cm. Change the length of the internal line to 10 cm. Stitch these two line segments together. Then simulate. Adjust the hem of the skirt and fix it with a pin. Adjust the arc so it follows the direction of the folds. In order to make the folds of the front skirt richer, we use the pen tool to draw a few line segments down the waist. The line segment is, is radial outward, set the folding angle to 150 and open realistic fold. Generate equidistant internal lines with a spacing of 0.2 cm and a quantity of 3 on both sides of the line segment and fold angle set to 170. Then use the pen tool while holding down the control key, draw an S-shaped curve at the hem. Cut this arc and delete the redundant pattern, adjusting the position of the curve with the edit curvature tool. Symmetry pattern with seam to quickly generate the pattern on the other side. Move the pattern position so that it is as close as possible to the inner pattern. Delete the fixed pin and add the two patterns to solidify, then open the simulation and adjust the state of the cloth. Unsolidify and simulate again. Remove the fixed pin on the back side, stitch the back center, and adjust the length of the sewing thread. In order to present a shape like a flower bird, we adjusted the chest a little looser. Add a tack in the back to fix it, and the length is 0.2 cm. Turn on the simulation, and then tweak the dress a bit. Throw the inner pattern and adjust the shape of the clothes to make them feel like petals to be opened. Remove leaked editing of the outer pattern and freeze on one side of it. Adjust the length of the seam line for unfrozen patterns and change the relationships to custom angle. Use the free sewing tool to sew a short section of the front panel and then simulate. At the opening, we add a tack, set the length to 3.5 cm.
In this way, we have made the effect of a symmetry on the left and right side. Next, adjust the shape of the folds to create the effect of the buds. Adjust the fabric, then quickly place the spacebar to post the simulation and add a tag to the inner pattern to fix the shape of the folds. Also use the Edit Curvature tool to adjust the position of the arc to be close to the ridge of the fold. Turn on Simulation, repeat the previous operation to add tack to the inner pattern to fix the folds. We can see that the 3D effect of the chest is more obvious now. Solidify and freeze the pattern. Then unfreeze the other side and adjust the shape of the fabric in the same way. After the folds are adjusted, quickly place the, press the spacebar to pose the simulation and add tack. Adjust the position of the arc so that it turns along the raised direction of the fabric fold, which will form a more 3D effect. Solidify the shape of the pattern, unfreeze the other side, open the simulation, and adjust the pose of the model from A to I. Adjust the state of the inner clothing. Use the edit sewing tool to delete a short section of the front sewing line and add a zipper to it. Modify the style of the zipper thief and puller, change the rendering type of zipper thief, zipper slider and puller to metal and delete the zipper stopper. Simulating, seeing that the position of the zipper slider is reversed, we selected the Select or Move tool and used the positioning ball to flip it to the front. It can be seen that there is a little instability here, so let's adjust the line segment of the waist. Then click the display bones on the left side of the 3D window to adjust the pose of the model. We need a pose where the hand is holding the skirt, so adjust the position of the wrist and the fingers. Then click on the joint points of the mo on the model's necks to adjust the angle of the head so that it is slightly sideways. Click Edit Avatar to open the Expression options and adjust the model's eyes to look up. Unsolidify the adder pattern, use the tag to avatar and falsely stitch the skirt to the palm of the model. Adjust it to give the effect of holding the clothes in your hands as much as possible. We added fixed pins to fix the adjusted places. On the other side, the same method is used to add tag to the avatar to the palm of the model. After adjustment, add a pin to fix the shape. Next, we add a fabric material to the clothing. First, name the first fabric Silk 1. Add another piece of fabric named Silk 2. The innermost fabric is Silk 1. We open the pre-prepared material and add a texture map and then add a normal map. Then select the patterns of the second layer and the third layer and apply the fabric silk 2 to the selected patterns. 
Then add texture map and normal maps to the fabric and select silk for the render type. Then adjust the gloss to 0 0.7. Add texture maps and normal maps to the outermost fabric Silk 3. Click on the scene bar on the right, turn on real-time render light and turn on depth peeling. Set the transparency of the fabric to 0 0.8. Turn on the simulation and adjust the skirt to make the skirt more full. Turning on straighten allow us to adjust it more quickly. Freeze all the patterns, then right click in the 3D window, 3D garment visibility and choose to hide pins. Turn off the tech display in the scene bar on the right. Open Hide Style 3D, our dress skirt is ready, next we will make some earrings. Select the ellipse tool and make a circle with a radius of 3.5. Adjust the position of the curve point around the circle to create irregular flower shape. Using the pen tool, draw a few long radial lines outward from the center of the flower and a few shorter lines. Then select all internal lines in the box, set the fold angle to 300 and open the realistic fold. Select the flower, click the thumbtack logo in the upper right corner and move the pattern to the model's ear. Create a new piece of fabric in the fabric bar. Change render type to silk and cloth thick to 2 mm. And increase the stretching and blending values of the fabric. Assign to floral pattern. Add a fixed pin in the center of the flower pattern and simulate. We see a beautiful flower shape like this. We can also reduce the transparency of the fabric, improve the gloss and give the earrings more texture. Adjust the position and orientation of the flower earpiece to make it more realistic to wear. After adjusting it, freeze it and symmetry pattern with seam. Now that the flower earrings are done, let's make the hat. Click on the resource library on the right, select scene prop, select cylinder to add, and then add a ball item. The head of the model is oval, so we need to simulate the shape of the head of the model. We set the cylinder and ball dimension X to 18, Y to 18, and Z to 22, respectively. Open the collide and frozen. Position the ball so that it is half embedded in the cylinder. Select the ellipse tool and make a circle with a radius of 335. Then create a new fabric and apply it to the pattern. Set the particle distance to 5 and add extra render thickness to 1. 
Adjust the pattern position and hold shift to adjust the rotation angle. Right click, select 3D garment visibility and then show pins. Insert a fixing pin in the middle of the pattern. Simulate and then let the fabric sag naturally. Select the edge of the circle, check elastic and set ratio to 60 and simulate. See that the edges are a little loose, so set the ratio to 50, then simulate and adjust the shape. When this is done, we select the ellipse tool and create a 90 centimeter radius pattern. Add a new fabric to the right fabric bar and apply it to the pattern. Draw a small circle with a radius of 25 cm above the center of the big circle and right click to convert to hole. Sew the edges of the small circle and the inside of the big circle and set the fold angle to 90 degrees. Move the position of the large, large circular pattern. Then we open the bond of the visor pattern and select straighten. Freeze the top of the hat and turn on the simulation. Adjust the arc of the brim, then set pressure to 2, turn on the simulation. Adjust the brim shape and fix the position with a fixing pin. Select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle with width of 3 and length of 58. Apply fabric hat 1 to the rectangular hat band and freeze the brim pattern. Set the hat band pattern level to 1, extra render thickness to 1, and move it to the front of the hat. Then add fixed pins in the middle and add both hands. To simulate, move the fixed pin so that the cap band is close to the cap as possible and move the pins along the arc's direction. Once the ends of the cap band are close together, sew the ends together, simulate and adjust the hat band. Unfreeze the bream, set the particle distance to 10 and the extra render thickness to 1. Adjust the shape of the brim with the edit curve tool. And straighten and continue to adjust the brim shape. Fold the front end of the brim back and adjust its shape so that the outline is smooth and round. The adjusted position is fixed with a pin. Frame all pattern of the hat, move it on the model's heads and adjust the position and angle of the hat. The position of the brim and hat are further adjusted to make it more beautiful to wear. After adjustment, freeze the cap pattern and hide the fixed pin. 
Display Style 3D, then select the edge of the visor pattern to generate an equidistant internal line with a width of 2.5 cm. Cut and sew the internal line. Select the outer edge of the visor pattern again, generate an equidistant internal line with a width of 5.5 cm, cut and sew. Select these two patterns and apply the fabric name Hat1 to them. Then select the other three patterns and apply the fabric name Hat2 to them. Add the prepper texture map and normal map to the Hat1 fabric. Change its spreader type to silk. Add texture map and normal map to fabric hat 2 and adjust fabric transparency to 0 0.68. Delete the extra props. The whole set of dresses and accessories are finished now, so let's see the final effect together. That's it guys, I hope some of the tips will help your remodeling work and if you like what we do, please like, comment and share this video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.